Is there such a thing as the ultimate car? No, but if there was, the latest all-new Audi RS4 Avant, on paper at least, has a strong chance of qualifying. It has all the attributes of the comfortable, well-built and practical Audi A4 estate, but with a wider stance, harder look and a ludicrous amount of horsepower. 450 horsepower to be accurate in a car that can carry a family and a full IKEA shopping hall at 174 miles an hour. We've come to Spain to try it. There's very little that's more bulletproof than an Audi interior, apart from maybe actual armour plating. The RS4 Avant has brilliant build quality and materials. Up front you have these extra huggy leather wrapped sports seats to keep you in place around the corners, but there's still plenty of room in the back for both kids and adults. Being an Avant, its party piece is the extra large boot, which is slightly bigger than its main rival, the Mercedes AMG C63 Estate. There's plenty of technology in here to keep you both informed and entertained. Audi's MMI infotainment system is one of the best, and it's easy to switch between radio, music, sat-nav and plenty of other features. The RS4 Avant has got to do everything well. It's got to be as close to a regular A4 in terms of comfort as is possible, but it's also got to serve up big thrills of adrenaline through the spine when you find the right stretch of road. Comfort-wise, it's very good, at least on these very well-maintained roads in southern Spain. You can still feel some of the larger lumps and bumps come up through the chassis, but they're largely filtered out very well. When it comes to performance, it's a bit of a mixed bag. The previous RS4 had a big V8 under the bonnet, but this one has a twin-turbocharged 2.9-litre V6. Don't worry, though, because it's got just as much power as the V8 and more torque. It's an absolute beauty, and it'll hit 62 miles an hour in just 4.1 seconds from standstill. You really shouldn't miss the V8 at all. The chassis is also very accomplished, with huge amounts of grip from the tyres and the ability to whip round corners in ways that really shouldn't be possible. The problem, though, is with the steering. In this standard car, which doesn't have any of the optional upgrades, it feels very numb and artificial. And it means that you end up admiring what the RS4 Avant can do in terms of defying physics through the corners, but you don't end up having a huge amount of fun. It feels just a bit disconnected. Big thrills are not forthcoming, which is a shame. It just feels a bit restrained and sensible. It does sound good, though. So, what does this mean? Well, it means that the best way to think about the RS4 Avant is as an A4 estate with lots of power and impressive agility. If you buy one hoping for raw, visceral thrills, you'll probably be disappointed, because it's not that. What it is, however, is a very capable, very well-made and very fast estate car that will impress the mind while keeping the pulse at a relatively sensible level. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then the RS4 Avant may well be for you. Now, for more information on the Audi A4 range, check out our in-depth written review on autotrader.co.uk. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a little thumbs up and let us know what you think of the RS4 Avant by commenting below. Don't forget to subscribe for free to the Autotrader YouTube channel for everything you need to buy your next car.